While the majority of video games have their most disturbing moments front and center, there are plenty more that like to get sneaky with their horror to make it all the more effective. And really, it is surprisingly easy to pass by a lot of horrible implications when you're happily distracted by a big old game narrative. Be they an optional side quest missed in the heat of the moment, or just an unspoken consequence that is never outright explored in conversation. Often we're so excited to keep the ball rolling that we don't stop to think about what terrors could plague our pixel palaces, much to our own peril. I mean, if a game features a terrible fate as a main plot point, good, great, we get a horrid little moment we can process and prepare to deal with. If, however, you discover that your favourite childhood game actually lets you poison everyone in a brutal mass murder, well, that is certainly fuel for an existential crisis, at the very least. I am the Creepy Ash, hidden in what culture gaming, and these are nine truly disturbing fates hidden in video games. 9. Annalise, Bloodborne To be fair, there are very few fates in Bloodborne that don't equal a very bad time. Arguably the best thing you can hope for is death, or if you're the player character, maybe becoming an elder god. Why not, eh? Either of those choices, though, is better than the cruel fate of Annalise, Queen of the Vilebloods, as her remains, the queenly flesh, can be used to revive her at the Altar of Despair. There are two options here. One, that Annalise cannot die and is alive as a gross little chunk of flesh after being air quotes killed, or that she can die and is merely being repeatedly brought back to life in order to continue the survival of the Vilebloods. And, you know, have a chat. Oh, and did I mention that when she is alive, she's in a faraway room behind a hidden door where she presumably just sits still for eons? It's not exactly a luxurious existence, but you can propose to her, so maybe that's a silver lining? 8. The Stoneworkers – Skyrim As the DLC of Skyrim hasn't been as universally played as the core game, it is easy for many to miss one of the most unsettling implications in there. When you reach Solstheim, home of the Dragonborn DLC, you start to notice things are very, very off. Specifically in the huge building sites scattered around the map. In these areas, workers toil relentlessly at building shrines for the Makerstones, having been brainwashed by the villain Mirak into working constantly and without rest. When you touch the shrine before you eventually cleanse it, you too will enter this trance-like state, with the screen going to black and then bringing you back some hours later, still working on the site. Though you hopefully do eventually rescue these poor souls, it's a little disconcerting to think that, for anyone who doesn't do this DLC, these people are presumably condemned into working forevermore whilst brainwashed into not knowing any different. 7. Henry, Bendy and the Ink Machine When you initially end Bendy and the Ink Machine, it very much appears as though you've managed to net yourself a happy ending. At the end of the day, after all the scares and threats, you've escaped both Bendy and the Ink Machine, so the job's done, right? Not quite, my friends. The ending suggests your fate might not be quite as rosy as it seems. Because at the very last step of your journey, you're shown a cutscene that takes you right back to the workshop where you started this whole ordeal. Many in the game repeatedly tell you there's no escape, and they are not playing. It seems as though the whole thing exists in a loop, starting and ending at the same point over and over, showing that our hero Henry may well be trapped there forever. And it's got to be said, being locked in a permanent struggle with a bunch of children's cartoons really does sound like a rough time. 6. The Isolation Ending – Outer Wilds If there's one glorious thing about Outer Wilds, it is just how many paths you can carve out in the game. Altogether, there are seven different endings you can work to, and whilst this isn't anywhere near the most endings you can get in a video game, it is quality over quantity with this one. They're all diverse enough that they are absolutely worth seeing through. Of these, by far the saddest finale is what is known as the isolation ending. As you might imagine, you get this ending for inadvertently isolating yourself. If you fly too far away from the sun to try and avoid the supernova that comes at the end of the game, you'll have the screen fade to black before being told that you've drifted out into space. Painfully, you are then told you will continue to drift out into space forever, depleting your resources until you eventually die. Just think about the reality of that long, cold float for just a moment to really let this horror sink in. 5. The Amalgams – Undertale Undertale is a game that is on the surface pretty PG, and yet becomes progressively more and more unsettling the more you learn about it. The premium example of this can be found in the secret lab area, which you access during the true pacifist ending. The reason this is hidden in the other game endings quickly becomes clear when you meet the nightmarish Amalgams. 
As the name may clue you in on, the amalgams are created out of the amalgamation of other existing and living creatures. When a scientist tried to bring back a dead monster by injecting them with determination, this ended up rendering the creatures unstable, ultimately leading them to become several conjoined creatures. Since the result is some serious horror fuel, they were then hidden away from the rest of the world in the lab. Until, of course, you find them. Mercifully, you can befriend these unnerving beasts. And whilst their existence does seem more than a little messed up, many of them do find their peace by the end of the game. The silver lining on a pretty grotty cloud. 4. Gregory Edgeworth Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney as Phoenix Wright is a series where one of the less dramatic cases involves a man placing his head in a lion's mouth, only for the lion to sneeze and bite him, you know most folk are in for a kind of rough time, even if justice is eventually served. When it comes to the backstory of the initially intensely immoral prosecutor Miles Edgeworth then, you're likely not surprised to learn everything is just as messed up. Miles idolised his father Gregory for being a moral and efficient defence attorney, which unfortunately is the exact thing that led to his death. Gregory called out the frankly terrifying Manfred von Karma for coercing a confession from a witness, giving the man the only blip on his otherwise spotless record in law. This would anger von Karma enough that, when he would come upon Gregory and his son unconscious in a lift, it's a long story, he would shoot and kill him. To make matters worse, when Gregory was summoned by a spirit medium, he would lie about who was responsible for his own death, as he was unaware that von Karma had come into the lift. As such, in an attempt to save his son from death, Gregory would break his own moral compass and lie about knowing who had done it, blaming Yanni Yoji, the only other person he knew that had been in the lift with them. Being a ghost sounds really hard. 3. The Spore Carriers – Fallout New Vegas When you come upon a vault in Fallout, you know roughly what you're going to find in there, and it is never nice. Whether it's a social experiment that led to people murdering each other in cold blood, a physical experiment that morphed them into terrifying monsters, or just that everyone there is for some reason labelled Gary, nobody ever ends up having a great time. Even in vaults where nothing goes wrong, their return to society often leads to their demise just as often as the actual vaults do. However, most regular deaths would be nicer than what happened to the unfortunates who inhabited Vault 22 in Fallout New Vegas. The vault was made with the intention of those within it doing groundbreaking botanical research, allowing a potentially ecologically devastated wasteland to be repopulated with plants. Instead, they invented a crazy aggressive fungus that took over host bodies, which would eventually infect, kill, and then possess the people living in the vault, turning them into the spore carriers that you then fight. 2. Everyone in the Village – Harvest Moon DS Harvest Moon is both an incredibly fun and whimsical game, and also one that contains some needlessly messed up moments. One you probably didn't know exists, however, is the ability to murder the entire town single-handedly, like you're playing as Jack the Ripper instead of a quaint country farmer. Well, how, you monsters ask? Well, you can get a level 100 poisonous mushroom and drop it in the stew the day the townspeople band together to share ingredients to make it. You know, since everyone knows the punishment for sharing is a fungus-based death. Eating your bowl brings you a tasty game over, and while you'd hoped that the townspeople saw you keel over and thought better than to try the soup themselves, it's worth remembering that usually in the game, they've all finished their stew by the time that you have, so they're almost all definitely dead. Whoops. 1. Owl's Marionettes – Metal Gear Ghost Babel As most people play through Metal Gear Solid and not the entire Metal Gear series, some games are never picked up by many who would consider themselves fans of the franchise. This is half a blessing and half a shame, as it means they never witness Marionette Owl, arguably the creepiest character in the whole franchise. Having witnessed his best friend's body after she'd been brutally murdered as a child, the Spectre Killer becomes decidedly unhinged, having continual nightmares about the event for years afterwards. Eventually, this would lead to him becoming a serial killer himself. But not just any kind. Garden variety homicides are apparently too mundane for the Metal Gear series. The marionette owl gets his name from his custom-crafted marionettes, which are made via human corpses transformed into Bunraku dolls. As if this wasn't creepy enough, he specifically kills those he loves and makes them into the puppets, which is not what anyone means when they say that having hobbies is important. And that's our list. What other disturbing fates belong on this list? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. I've been Ash, over on social media, at Ash Millman, and this has been What Culture. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and come back again soon for some more lovely gaming content. Thanks for watching.